In nuclear physics, double beta decay is a type of radioactive decay in which two neutrons are simultaneously transformed into two protons, or vice versa, inside an atomic nucleus. As in single beta decay, this process allows the atom to move closer to the optimal ratio of protons and neutrons. As a result of this transformation, the nucleus emits two detectable beta particles, which are electrons or positrons. The literature distinguishes between two types of double beta decay, ordinary double beta decay and neutrinoless double beta decay. In ordinary double beta decay, which has been observed in several isotopes, two electrons and two electron antineutrinos are emitted from the decaying nucleus. In neutrinoless double beta decay, a hypothesized process that has never been observed, only electrons would be emitted. History The idea of double beta decay was first proposed by Maria Gopert Mayer in 1935. In 1937, Ettore Majorana demonstrated that all results of beta decay theory remain unchanged if the neutrino were its own antiparticle, now known as a Majorana particle. In 1939, Wendell H. Furry proposed that if neutrinos are Majorana particles, then double beta decay can proceed without the emission of any neutrinos, via the process now called neutrinoless double beta decay. It is not yet known whether the neutrino is a Majorana particle and, relatedly, whether neutrinoless double beta exists in nature. In 1930 40s, parity violation in weak interactions was not known, and consequently calculations showed that neutrinoless double beta decay should be much more likely to occur than ordinary double beta decay, if neutrinos were Majorana particles. The predicted half lives were on the order of 1015 to 16 years. Efforts to observe the process in laboratory date back to at least 1948 when Edward L. Fireman made the first attempt to directly measure the half-life of the 124SN isotope with a Geiger counter. Radiometric experiments through about 1960 produced negative results or false positives, not confirmed by later experiments. In 1950, for the first time the double beta decay half-life of 130 Te was measured by geochemical methods to be 1.4 times 1,021 years, reasonably close to the modern value. In 1956, after the VA nature of weak interactions was established, it became clear that the half-life of neutrinoless double beta decay would significantly exceed that of ordinary double beta decay. Despite significant progress in experimental techniques in 1960–70s, double beta decay was not observed in a laboratory until the 1980s. Experiments had only been able to establish the lower bound for the half-life—about 1,021 years. At the same time, geochemical experiments detected the double beta decay of 82 Se and 128 Te. Double beta decay was first observed in a laboratory in 1987 by the group of Michael Moe at UC Irvine in 82 Se. Since then, many experiments have observed ordinary double beta decay in other isotopes. None of those experiments have produced positive results for the neutrinoless process, raising the half life lower bound to approximately 1,025 years. Geochemical experiments continued through the 1990s, producing positive results for several isotopes. Double beta decay is the rarest known kind of radioactive decay. As of 2018, it has been observed in only 13 isotopes, including double electron capture in 130 Ba observed in 2001 and 78 Kr observed in 2013, and all have a mean lifetime over 1,018 years. Table below. Ordinary double beta decay In a typical double beta decay, two neutrons in the nucleus are converted to protons, and two electrons and two electron antineutrinos are emitted. The process can be thought as two simultaneous beta minus decays. In order for double beta decay to be possible, the final nucleus must have a larger binding energy than the original nucleus. For some nuclei, such as germanium-76, the isobar 1 atomic number higher arsenic 76 has a smaller binding energy, preventing single beta decay. However, the isobar with atomic number 2 higher, selenium-76, has a larger binding energy, so double beta decay is allowed. The emission spectrum of the two electrons can be computed in a similar way to beta emission spectrum using Fermi's golden rule. The differential rate is given by D n 
T one T two cos theta D T one D T two D cos theta equals F Z T one F Z T two W one P one W two P two Q minus T one minus T two five one minus V one V two cos theta Display style FRAC DN T underscore one T underscore two cos theta D T underscore one D T underscore two D cos theta equals F Z T underscore one F Z T underscore two W underscore one P underscore one W underscore two P underscore two Q T underscore one T underscore two carrot five one V underscore one V underscore two cos theta where the subscripts refer to each electron, T is kinetic energy, W is total energy, F Z, T is the Fermi function with Z the charge of the final state nucleus, P is momentum, V is velocity in units of C, cos θ is the angle between the electrons, and Q is the Q value of the decay. For some nuclei, the process occurs as conversion of two protons to neutrons, emitting two electron neutrinos and absorbing two orbital electrons double electron capture. If the mass difference between the parent and daughter atoms is more than 1.022 MeV, C2, two electron masses, another decay is accessible, capture of one orbital electron and emission of one positron. When the mass difference is more than 2.044 MeV, C2, four electron masses, emission of two positrons is possible. These theoretical decay branches have not been observed. Topic. Known double beta decay isotopes There are 35 naturally occurring isotopes capable of double beta decay. In practice, the decay can be observed when the single beta decay is forbidden by energy conservation. This happens for elements with an even atomic number and even neutron number, which are more stable due to spin coupling. When single beta decay or alpha decay also occur, the double beta decay rate is generally too low to observe. However, the double beta decay of 238U also an alpha emitter has been measured radiochemically. Two other nuclides in which double beta decay has been observed, 48Ca and 96Zr, can also theoretically single beta decay, but this decay is extremely suppressed and has never been observed. Thirteen isotopes have been experimentally observed undergoing two neutrino double beta decay beta beta or double electron capture. The table below contains nuclides with the latest experimentally measured half-lives, as of December 2016. Where two uncertainties are specified, the first one is statistical uncertainty and the second is systematic. Searches for double beta decay in isotopes that present significantly greater experimental challenges are ongoing. One such isotope is 134Z, which is expected to decay in addition to 136Z. The following known nuclides with A270 are theoretically capable of double beta decay 46Ca, 48Ca, 70Zn, 76J, 80Se, 82Se, 86Kr, 94Zr, 96Zr, 98Mo, 100Mo, 104Ru, 110Pd, 114Cd, 116Cd. 122 SN, 124 SN, 128 TE, 130 TE, 134 Z, 136 Z, 142 CE, 146 ND, 148 ND, 150 ND, 154 SM, 160 GD, 170 ER, 176 Yada bits, 186 W, 192 O's, 198 PT, 204 HG. 
216 Po, 220 RN, 226 Ra, 232 TH, 238 U, 244 Pu, 248 CM, 254 CF, 260 FM, 264 No, and 266 No. The following known nuclides with A270 are theoretically capable of double electron capture 36 R, 40 CA, 50 CR, 54 Fe, 58 Ni, 64 ZN, 74 Se, 78 KR, 84 Senior, 92 Mo, 96 Ru, 102 PD, 106 CD, 108 CD, 112 SN, 120 Te, 124 Z, 126 Z, 130 Ba, 132 Ba, 136 CE, 138 CE, 144 SM, 148 GD, 150 GD, 152 GD, 154 Di, 156 Di, 158 Di, 162 Er, 164 Er, 168 Yada Bits, 174 HF, 180 W, 184 Os, 190 PT, 196 HG, 212 RN, 214 RN, 218 Ra, 224, 230 U, 236 Pu, 242 CM, 252 FM, 258 No, and 270 SG. Topic: <laughs> Neutrinoless double beta decay. If the neutrino is a Majorana particle i.e., the antineutrino and the neutrino are actually the same particle, and at least one type of neutrino has non-zero mass which has been established by the neutrino oscillation experiments, then it is possible for neutrinoless double beta decay to occur. Neutrinoless double beta decay is a lepton number violating process. In the simplest theoretical treatment, known as light neutrino exchange, a nucleon absorbs the neutrino emitted by another nucleon. The exchanged neutrinos are virtual particles. With only two electrons in the final state, the electron's total kinetic energy would be approximately the binding energy difference of the initial and final nuclei, with the nuclear recoil accounting for the rest. Because of momentum conservation, electrons are generally emitted back to back. The decay rate for this process is given by gamma equals g m two m beta beta 2 display style gamma equals g m caret 2 m underscore beta beta caret 2 where g is the two body phase space factor m is the nuclear matrix element and mbb is the effective majorana mass of the electron neutrino in the context of light majorana neutrino exchange mbb is given by m beta beta equals I equals one three M I U E I two Display style M underscore beta beta equals sum underscore I equals one carrot three M underscore I U underscore A carrot two where me are the neutrino masses and the UA are elements of the Pontecorvo Maki Nakagawa Sakata PMNS matrix. Therefore, observing neutrinoless double beta decay, in addition to confirming the Majorana neutrino nature, can give information on the absolute neutrino mass scale and Majorana phases in the PMNS matrix, subject to interpretation through theoretical models of the nucleus, which determine the nuclear matrix elements, and models of the decay. The observation of neutrinoless double beta decay would require that at least one neutrino is a Majorana particle, irrespective of whether the process is engendered by neutrino exchange. Experiments Numerous experiments have searched for neutrinoless double beta decay. The best performing experiments have a high mass of the decaying isotope and low backgrounds, with some experiments able to perform particle discrimination and electron tracking. In order to remove backgrounds from cosmic rays, most experiments are located in underground laboratories around the world. Recent and proposed experiments include Completed experiments Gothard TPC Heidelberg Moscow, 76 J detectors 1997 
IGEX 76 J detectors 1999 to 2002 NEMO various isotopes using tracking calorimeters 2003 to 2011 Corachino 130 Te in ultracold TeO2 crystals 2003 to 2008 Experiments taking data as of November 2017 Cobra 116 controlled in room temperature CDZNTE crystals CUORE 130 Te in ultracold TeO2 crystals EXO a 136Z and 134Z search GERDA a 76J detector Camlan Zen, a 136Z search. Data collection from 2011. Majorana, using high purity 76J P type point contact detectors. XMASS using liquid Z. Proposed, future experiments. Candles, 48 CA in calcium fluoride, at Kamioka Observatory. Moon, developing 100 MO detectors. Amore, 100 mo enriched calcium orthomolybdate crystals at Yangyang Underground Laboratory Nexo, using liquid 136Z in a time projection chamber Legend, neutrinoless double beta decay of 76J LUMINEU, exploring 100 mo enriched zinc orthomolybdate crystals at LSM, France Next, a xenon TPC. Next demo ran and next 100 will run in 2016. Snow Plus, a liquid scintillator, will study 130 Te Supernemo, a Nemo upgrade, will study 82 Se Tin Tin, a 124SN detector at Eno Pandax 3, an experiment with 200 kg to 1000 kg of 90% enriched 136Z Status <laughs> <laughs> While some experiments have claimed a discovery of neutrinoless double beta decay, modern searches have found no evidence for the decay. <inaudible> Heidelberg–Moscow controversy Some members of the Heidelberg–Moscow collaboration claimed a detection of neutrinoless beta decay in 76J in 2001. This claim was criticized by outside physicists as well as other members of the collaboration. In 2006, a refined estimate by the same authors stated the half-life was 2.3 times 1,025 years. This half-life has been excluded at high confidence by other experiments, including in 76J by Goethe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current results. As of 2017, the strongest limits on neutrinoless double beta decay have come from Goethe in 76J, CUORE in 130Te, and XO200 and Kamlan Zen in 136Z. Topic: <laughs> Theoretical higher simultaneous beta decay. For mass numbers with more than two beta stable isobars, quadruple beta decay and its inverse, quadruple electron capture, have been proposed as an alternative to double beta decay in the isobars with the greatest energy excess. Such a decay mode has been proposed to be neutrinoless, and energetically possible in eight nuclei, though the half-lives are predicted to be very long and hence quadruple beta decay is unlikely to be realized. The eight candidate nuclei for quadruple beta decay include 96ZR, 136Z, and 150ND capable of quadruple beta minus decay, and 124Z, 130BA, 148GD, and 154Di capable of quadruple beta plus decay or electron capture. In theory, quadruple beta decay may be experimentally observable in three of these nuclei, with the most promising candidate being 150ND. Topic. See also Double electron capture Beta decay Neutrino Particle radiation Radioactive isotope